Hello and welcome to this Inova Systems web snippet on the wrap feature. In SolidWorks here, I've got an extrude and I've got a sketch. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the wrap tool to wrap my sketch onto the face of my uh, extrusion. So pre-select the sketch and then I'm going to choose to scribe it onto the face of my cylinder. And you can see there the preview that will be created. Now the wrap feature takes the face, cuts it and flattens it similar to sheet metal. And that's what this boundary, yellow boundary is here and then uses the position of my sketch on that face uh, to then wrap it around my original extrude. Now, the most simplest form is around a cylinder like this, but what we can do is if I hide that body and show that one, we can start looking at far more complicated geometry to wrap it onto. So again, if I take the same sketch and choose wrap, and then I can choose to which face I want to wrap it onto. So for example, if I choose this face, we get one output, Whereas if I choose this face, I get a different one. Now the reason behind that is if I go to the top view, you can see there is actually an undercut here. Um, probably best shown if I do an extruded cut and go through. You can see where it would be cut and then not cut and then cut again by part of my uh, sketch. But the wrap feature enables me to um, select the face and wrap it round that undercut and we can see there it goes round and actually continues on to the next face. But if I choose to start on this face it positions in a different place because of where because of the undercut. And then we can choose to hit the tick there. And what that'll do is that will scribe it onto uh, my surface. Now essentially the scribe is the same as doing uh, a split face command but I can use the wrap command to get a nice um, output where it's wrapped it round and then we could potentially come into here select our, our various faces and choose to color them for example now that's going on to a nice vertical face what we can do is we can actually do a very similar th to, or use the wrap tool in a very similar way uh, on a non flat face if that makes sense. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use this particular sketch here and I've got a revolve here uh, which is a cone. <clears throat> now you can see my sketch is sat at an angle so that it is tangential to the cone and the tangential bit is quite important for the wrap feature. So again choose the wrap command, choose the face and in this case you can see it's giving me the shape of my cone which has been flattened out <clears throat> and I'm going to choose to deboss this one so this is to cut in by a specific direction and again I can choose a pull direction similar to a normal uh, extrude or a normal cut we'll put that in and you can see now if I hide that sketch it becomes a little bit clearer you can see how it's cut in there now because originally my words the suits <clears throat> was absolutely perfectly horizontal when it's been wrapped around the cone, it's drooped a bit. Now we can fix that. If I edit this sketch and and put the text rather than on that line, put it on this arc. So I'm sort of manually tw twisting it the other way. When I exit the sketch, you'll see that will come in and that will be nice and horizontal uh, across my body. So the wrap feature is quite nice for putting complex sketches onto a curved face in a way which means it will sit over and you can cut in or extrude from that wrap feature. Thank you very much for watching.